Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Suikoden 5 and good lord this music is actually really really good I've been setting up the record just letting this play for a while now and it is uh, just absolutely fantastic anyways we need to make our way to Lunis because we're on the run now uh, I guess officially with the the news coming out of Godwin I'm technically kidnapped in the public's eyes by George Prime uh, but we know what really happened. Oh, these guys are new enemies. What do you mean, Cronus? You fought these guys plenty of times. Yeah, well, they're slightly buffed enemies. Maybe not that one. But the armadillo dudes, they were usually killed in one hit. But uh, maybe I just got lucky before with uh, damage rolls or something. Anyways, let's go to Lunas. Tell our... Second cousin? Great cousin? Where's my phone? I felt like I should have looked that up last time. Alright, so apparently your parents' first cousin is your first cousin once removed. I don't know what that fucking means. To be perfectly honest with you. Your Highness, Lady Sidelys, are you alright? The Oracle is quite distressed over your well-being. Please come see her right away. You mean the news has already traveled all the way here? Which is pretty impressive, given that there's, like, no electronic mail, no phones. Uh, I guess they would be carrier pigeons, but still. This morning, a mountain messenger, and mountain messenger, sure, uh, messenger back from Sofalina told us of an attack, but it was hardly more than rumors. But, uh, let's save the chat for later. Right now, the Prince and Lady Sally need some rest. Y yes, of course, my apologies. This way, please. But, like, seriously, that, that outfit is pretty dope. Uh, alright, there we go. I was using the directional, and I was walking, I was like, what the hell? That's true, huh? Uh, yeah, if you use the direct D-pad, you have to hold down the triangle, the cancel button, to run. If you use the analog, you just run as is. It just goes to show how I mentioned, I think I mentioned this, am I, no, you know what, I think it was in a different series. Where I was talking about using the D-pad more often in my youth, even when analog sticks were a thing. Uh, what I have completely reversed on that for the most part in my later years. Oh, Silas, Frey! It's so good to see you both alive. You are all right, aren't you? Oh, I've been so worried. We heard such horrific rumors, but they aren't true, are they? Right? Nothing but awful lies. Well, some of them. Oh no, Hashwa. I see Ashtad and Farid are. At least all of you made it. But the princess. I wonder what happened to Mikis and Galleon and Kyle. The guy? One of the first things I learned as a warrior was this a sword not in use should be sheathed, otherwise, the blade will rush than dull. I don't use a sword, though. I use, like, a spear thing, but sure. Worrying now will only wear you down. Take this chance to rest and save yourself for battles to come. Yes, yes, you're right. I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a terrible hostess. You probably aren't getting... Uh, you have, probably haven't gotten any sleep since the attack, have you? I'll get a meal ready for all of you, but you better rest in the meantime. Uh, I don't feel like sleeping. Thank you. Hey, thank you. No need to thank me. I just wish I could be more, uh, do more for you all right now. My eyes just won't stay open anymore. I guess I'll take you up, uh, take you up on that bed offer. There's room prepared on the second floor. All right, thanks. There's a guy. Feel free to use the second floor as well. I don't need a bed, but if you're saying I'd be in your way, I'll go upstairs. I mean, that's true, right? He's pretty much been a slave for a really long time, then they sleep just on the floor. Oracle, sooner or later, the Godwins are going to find out they're here. It'll be difficult to hide them here for long. I know, but for now, I'd like to let them get some rest, even if it's only for a little while. As you wish. Oh, right, Asato did join our party for a second. That's weird. <laughs> Yeah, that's totally weird. All right, cool. Uh, locked. I guess Sally's and George want to be alone. 
Are they sharing a room? No, okay, just <laughs> copy and paste message. I got you. Dots. Alright. Okay, that was the princess's room. There's really not much for us to do here except go to bed. Prince, um, I... Uh, you should rest too, Leon. Oh, yes, sir. I'll be on my way. I mean, you could have sat on the bed. I think there's a chair in this room, too. Actually, where'd all the furniture go? Oh, she has afterimage. Kronos. Oh, I'm just saying, she has afterimage. Seriously, this outfit is so much better than, like, the the cover outfit. It's also very reminiscent of uh Marshall, your lordship, sir. another outfit from a Suikoden game. Father, you're early. I was feeling a little anxious. So I grabbed this stick. There's no need to worry. <laughs> As you can see, we have complete control of the Sun Palace. A scepter, really, but it's I heard silly. There were a few crucial problems. Crucial is such a strong word. There may have been a few unforeseen obstacles, but it all turned out fine. The only thing worth noting is that the Prince and Lady Silides managed to slip away. But thanks to that, we were able to make George take the blame, so, in the end, it wasn't a complete loss. Hmm. I see. Why are you carrying that, you goddamn idiot? Oh, Lord Godwin. Don't mind us. Continue your research. Yes, sir. At last, it's mine. And how did it go? Pardon? Don't be coy. I assume you already tried it. It's what I would have done at your age. Ah, you see right through me, as always, Father. The rune is still here, isn't it? What more needs to be said? Just as I thought. Would you like to give it a try? There's no need for that. We both know it wouldn't work. They're trying to get the rune to... Well, Marskel wants the rune for himself. He wants to embody the rune and have the rune attached to him. And Godwin tried it already. But if you've ever played a Suikoden game before, you know true runes are kind of sentient, and they choose their own uh, wielders willingly. Um, and if, yeah, if they don't want you to wield them, you ain't wielding them. Now that you have the actual rune in the seal statue, I suspect your I sus expect your research to go quite quickly. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, there are rumors and lore-wise of uh, a certain civilization being able to force a true rune onto someone, but it's a little different if you remember Suikoden in three. How is Princess Lem uh, Lemslia? She's still quite upset and unreasonable. Uh, we only killed her parents, but, you know, cle completely unreasonable. I shut her in a room to spare myself the headache. And you think she can be left alone? It would, be cr it would create a, su a significant inconvenience for us if she committed suicide. We don't have to worry about that, and Mia Keys is with her besides. It's not in the princess's nature to give up hope so easily. She's stubborn to the point of foolishness. Yes, I suppose she does. Uh, she's just like that, uh, just like Ashtot and Siles in that regard. We must remove Silides and the Prince quickly. If they go to Barrows, things could get complicated. Don't worry, we know where they are. It won't be hard for them. Oh, Jesus, Venus just scratched the shit out of my leg. She, <laughs> she was climbing over me. I think to want to lay down on the mouse, but I kind of brushed her aside, and then she climbed onto my leg and just jumped and scratched the shit out of my leg. It won't be that hard to catch them. It actually hurts. Don't jump back on my leg, please. Oh, Venus. <laughs> Why? You want me to move the sh like the, the 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 notepad? There you go. Prince 
princess. Won't you please rest even just for a little while? No! If... If I saw mother and father in my dreams, I think I... I think I would cry. Completely reasonable! Your parents princess. just died. It's alright to cry, you know. I won't cry. I won't give them the satisfaction. Oh, that's fair. If I cry. If I cry, they win. Uh, I mean, there's other winning cry, conditions, but yeah. Admitting the defeat of our family, defeat to the likes of them. And that's why, that's why I can't cry. Oh, princess. Princess. <laughs> I'm all right. Save me. That's the plan. Please save me. All right, here we are back here. Oh, there was no. I mean, these did disappear, but I guess maybe it was viewing this side. I thought there was a chair. I guess it's just a mat to sit on. All right, let's see. Hey, is a guy? How's it going? Mm, talkative as always. Get going here. All right. Uh, in here. Oh, Prince. Oh dear, you could have slept a little longer, you know. Did you get enough rest, your highness? Uh, what about you? M me? Well, I, I, th I took a little nap, so I'm fine now. She's lying. She kept insisting that the bodyguard had to stay awake while the prince was asleep. She wouldn't listen to me. Lady Hashwa, I asked you to keep that a secret. Oh, but Leon, I can't keep secrets. You guys are up already. Must be nice to be young. You're like, what, 30? Si are you even 30? Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, you would be. I think you were, what, 14, 15? When the last Sacred Games were, right? When you were dating uh, Gazelle? And that was like 16 years ago, yeah? Anyways, Silence, don't you want to sleep a little longer too? I never sleep well, I'm sober anyway. That's not healthy, Siles. That's called a problem. Where's George? He can't be still be asleep. That's not like him. Maybe George is suffering more than you think. But they put the blame on him for everything after all. Nah, that man doesn't give a damn what other people think of him as long as he knows he's doing the right thing. If he's suffering, it's because of what I said to him. How can that be? George, you were with them, how? Yeah, she... Yeah, I mean... It's a kind of... A reasonable response, but at the same time, like... There's only so much one person can do. Even if, you know, it is George Prime. Or even, like, Oshot with the Sun Rune and everything. Unless she demolishes the entire city. Or something like that. She's not gonna be able to, like, fend off everything completely, yeah? Um... Sigh... So eventually you're going to get overwhelmed. Kajit Hashwa, is there any news? If anybody else managed to escape the, the Sun Palace, I bet they come here. No, nobody has come for you, but you. So that must mean Kyle and Galleon get caught too. They stay behind to protect Lim. And the Godwins must have the Sun Rune in their greedy hands by now. They've been after the Sun Rune forever. They think they can use its power to make Felenia the greatest empire in the world. Under their control, of course. That's why Asha decided to bear the rune herself to protect it. It had nothing to do with punishing Lord Lake. But in the end, even that wasn't enough to stop the Godwins. Silies. And honestly, they need to do some fucking research, too. Like, yeah, having a true rune at the head of your empire, republic, kingdom, whatever you want to call it, goes a long way. 
against countries that don't also have a true rune. <laughs> The ones that do have a true rune, you're kind of going to get into a stalemate. It's going to come down to what wars generally are, is who has the better tactics, the soldiers, the gear, that type of stuff. So if they think they just because they have the sun rune, they're going to be able to take over, say, I don't know, Harmonia, they're wrong, right? <laughs> uh, Oracle. They set a search party out for this, from Solfalena. I'm told the 100 armed soldiers are heading this way. What? What do they need so many soldiers for? Sounds like a search party that knows what it's gonna find. George, you mean... Yeah, they know we're here. They couldn't have found it so soon, not without help. A about that, I made some inquiries and it seems a few of our clerics are missing. Sorry, you can't mean... Yes, Oracle, it appears to be the case. They betrayed us and fled, cowards. Oh no, how could they? I'm so, so sorry! Not surprising, really. We met at least one who obviously wasn't fond of us. Anyway, you can all do the hand-wringing you want later. Uh, right now, we have to get out of here. Hand-wringing, okay. R yes, you're right. Asado, guide them to the woods, will you? But Oracle, that would be... Isaru, it's the only way, please, for me. As you wish. In the woods up back, there's a sacred path that only the elves know. If you follow the path, it will take you to Bara's territory. Bara's territory? I know Lord Bara's is the most reliable, but his family is the only one that can rival the Godwins. And if Bara's family can't help... You can go east of the port of uh, Estriz. Estriz? Estriz. And from there. No, I'm not gonna abandon my country just to save myself. But if you can't. Uh, what if you can't fight them? You can't just let the Godwins kill you. You have to be prepared for the worst. Otherwise, you might as well just let yourself get caught now. Dots. I mean, she's right. Go quickly! Leon joined, Silas joined, George joined, the guy joined, Asato joined. Ah, uh, you should come with. Alright, bye. Alright, sorry about that. So we need to head to, well, the pathway we found Log and Lun earlier. Uh, do I want to save? I guess I could save. I technically haven't made a hard save since before last episode actually never a smart thing to do to be quite honest but I didn't really have much of a choice there's always a choice chrono okay really we're gonna we're gonna fucking wax po poetically here All right, no okay I didn't have a choice anyways let's keep hooding he hooding yes we're hooding up north to that place where I was like oh that clearly looks like a path earlier This way. That way? But that's a dead end. Just follow me. Quickly. Oh, God. Who put the acid in my drink again? What? What's going on? Remember what the Oracle said. It's a path only the elves know about. How bad did that oh, tattoo no. hurt, that by the way, Sato? Also, I don't like the cloak. I don't like the cloak on the prince now. They ruined the outfit in the cutscene. I don't know where it came from. Like, if it was raining out or snowing out, I get, but... We're not exactly trying to hide our identity here. Not here, anyways. Go down, thank you. It's a pretty straightforward path. There's no treasures. There are enemies, though. These guys. Uh, I guess I could have rearranged some stuff, but honestly, it's fine. Oh, nice. I really have the opportunity to see that move that often. God damn it, George. It's a good move, though. 
a lot of the time bow users or uh, other things that shoot things users crossbow guns. You know, you know, I'm just I, I don't know why we've had other characters in every game that use crossbows and guns, so I don't know why I was trying to hide it. But <laughs> anyways, those type of guys they tend to only be able to attack once. They do a decent amount of damage in comparison to like melee who can hit multiple times. But barrage, uh, it's just not something I get to see that often. Where are we? We're in Lord Barrow's territory now. If you keep heading south, you'll reach uh, Houd Village? Hud Village? Hood Village? A little further, you'll reach the hometown of Barrow's family, Rainwall. Your Highness Elise said, this is as far as I can go. It would be prudent to be careful on your journey ahead. What? You're going back, Isato? I have done as Lady Hashwood wished. Uh, uh, tell her we said thank you. I'll be sure to do that. Lord Bowers is a very crafty person. I cannot say that what, say what he'll make in a situation like this. Please do not let your guard down. We won't. If you say we want you to come with him, he do, he doesn't. <laughs> Just so we're clear, uh, he, he's got to go back for his or his mistress, right, Hashwa? I must leave my leave. Sato has left the party. You could have stole some of his stuff, but honestly, it's not really worth it. Like, the Queen's Knight stuff was really good in, in the, well, at the time, but uh, his stuff, not so much. Uh, let's see. Does this count as... No, okay. Maybe it does count as woods. We'll see. There are, is a new mini-boss around here. This looks like it's counting as woods. I should probably put Zagai and George up front. Good miss. But yeah, so on the plains area, you can still run into Peckles, I believe his name was. The gray boar dude. In the wo woods area, there is a new little uh, mid-boss, half-boss. And I think this counts as a wood area, so I'm going to run around here until I find him. It's not really important to find him. Uh, this, okay, so, you know what, I'm gonna look for a, a more wooded area later on. It's not important. It's not like an achievement, because this is PlayStation 2. And it's not really, well, anything. Also, Jesus Christ, Frey. Yeah, it just gives extra rune pieces and uh, money and SP. So, I mean, I guess this might be good here. It's technically a wooded area. Yep. Yeah, I found him. All right. I heard the music change, and I was like, ah, clearly that's going to be him. All right, so this dude, he's not that hard. Why'd you look for him then, Kronos? Because he's a mid-boss. Okay. Ow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, I thought he wasn't that hard. Yeah, I know, but he just clawed the shit out of me, man. Uh, anyways, those, yeah, that, that's all it was. Just extra money and potch. Not, not potch, uh, SP. Uh, I did fight a few battles until I realized that I could release the enemy, so I, my SP is a lot higher now. Um, we also did get the first, uh, appraisal item, I think. Uh, I think it, w it was from a snipe with a uh, fight with the creeper and uh, the snail dude. So one of them dropped it. I don't know who. Anyways, let's head over here and get into a random encounter. Oh, this guy. Yeah, this guy dies pretty fast compared to the other ones. See. <laughs> Oh, well, it was a crit, so that one doesn't really count, but still. Enter? Sure. Yeah, no, this place is a little much, you're not wrong. Is... is the circus in town? 
Looks like the town is the circus. <laughs> That's what most first time is say. Lord Bowers gathered together a bunch of artists he thought had promise and had them create this village. For better or for worse, this is how it turned out. Fair enough, I guess. It is an attack on my senses. Jeez, I hate to meet the artists. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I don't know why that happened. Let's ask around to see if we can learn anything. You know what? Maybe the, there is something still wrong with my controller. Because that happens in, in Persona 3 sometimes, where the text just advances automatically. Maybe there's a b stuck button again. Because I thought I fixed the left trigger from being broken. If you remember the Lies of P playthrough, uh, stream through, I should say, uh, where we had trouble with that. I thought I'd fix it eventually, but apparently not. Uh, or at least something else might be wrong with it. Lord Bowers is probably on the fence as usual, but I'd like to make sure he hasn't been bullied into taking a stand. I'd rather, I'd really rather not walk into a Godwin trap as soon as we set foot in Rainwall. All right. So, yeah, there are some people here that are gonna be somewhat important later, and some treasures. Uh, boost piece. How many of those do we have? Because I feel like we've gotten a decent amount of those. Uh, two. Three. So three, okay. So just one more and we can make a boost rune, which... I mean, hey, look, if you want to make a boost rune, you can. You might have just noticed someone pop on the screen there for a second that looks rather unique. Who are you, misfits? What incredible tacky outfits! Terribly inappropriate! Oh, I advanced on its own. Uh, I just the sight of your closing disgusts me! Stay away from me! Ah, good old music. A drain piece. I think that's our second one of those. Whoop! Oh, no one saw that. That was my bad. I pressed the wrong button. I was trying to make sure all the buttons weren't sticking. Oh, right, we can zoom in. Hello again. Do those hideous clothes make you deaf? I said stay away from me. Hmm, fair enough. All right, let's see. Uh, there's another dude around here that could be somewhat important. If you head all the way to the east, you'll come across a bridge. Which uh, will advance the plot a little bit. I should save just in case I accidentally do that. You know, as I was taking a drink and saving my game, <clears throat> this uh, this area theme song, this town's theme song, is is reminding me of Mr. Satin Village, but like really messed up Mr. Satin Village <laughs> music. I don't know why. Uh, anyways, we got a new formation here. Let's go back, please. Thank you. Uh, so cross attack plus five to all. Let's go ahead and keep that going because we mainly use physical attacks in this game, anyways. So why not? Here's the item slash weapon shop. Not weapon shop, but uh, armor shop. Wizard hats. Oh, that's really good. Oh man, um, that's a lot of money. Yeah, okay, I'll buy a wizard hat for Siles. Yeah, okay, that's a lot of money. But hey, just make sure you, uh, tempting. I don't think we need one of those for later. But anyways, it's that part of our item shop in the future. Hi, puppy. Bow, wow, wow, yippee, oh, yippee, so if you If you just talk to people in this town, you can tell that they're all insane. My word, this is quite a, this place is quite extraordinary. Such a discerning eye to recognize true genius such as mine. Indeed, your genius is further testament to its splendor. Would 3,000 parts be suitable? For one such as a, such a, with such a discerning eye, it shall be more than suitable. It's a deal, then. My thanks to you. 
I'm looking forward to your next masterpiece. Please allow me, uh, allow me first look, if you would. Absolutely, you're deciding I shall be dis not be disappointed, uh, disappointed not. Artistic genius shall spring forth again. Ha, <laughs> complete rubbish. Oh, excuse me, I didn't intend for you to hear that. I have a reputation I behold, clearly. You don't have that crazed look in your eye. I can see that you are from outside the village. Please, allow me to explain. My name is Bastion, and I'm, well, I'm a con artist posing as an appraiser. <laughs> but please, no, engaging in deceitful practice was never my intention. Lord Bowers is my most loyal customer, and he's quite c c fond of the phonies in this town. So much so, in fact, that he's willing to pay outrageous pieces for, uh, prices for another man's junk. Ridicule me if you must, but had I not catered to my catered my shop to Lord Barrow's taste, I never I would have been out of business a long time ago. <sighs> well, thank you for lending an ear. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulder. I, I feel like an experience. Yeah, it's been wearing has been lifted from my shoulders. Yeah. He's like, dude, you could just leave. <laughs> Anyways, is this good? Probably not. Potted plant. Uh. Yeah, not so good. There you go. Bye bye. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, this is the docks, right? We do want to come over here. Because there is... a uh, treasure! There it is. Window set three, if you couldn't see it, because I clicked too fast. Uh, we'll need those for later. Uh, there's another one in the southeast. There's an inn. Oh, was it, that was the treasure. Okay. Yep. <laughs> One treasure, power piece, and the other treasure. God, this music. This wind of sleep is shit. Uh, hello. Alright, bye bye. Yeah, I think actually we only need to go to the southeast now to get that treasure. I don't know if there's anything else. Hello, dog. You were a cat for a second. I don't think anyone in the town gives you anything. They're just... They're all legitimately up their own asses, alright? And coming from me, that means something. Because I'm so far up my own ass that it's kind of ridiculous. But, yeah, no, these guys are... They're like the stereotype of what everyone thinks an artist is. Uh, I don't think we need... Do anything here. Yeah, we're good. I mean, I guess we could have brought some fruits over, but I didn't think the price was gonna be that high. Yeah, honestly, trading is a lot easier when you can, uh, well, move quickly between areas. Over here, yeah, there we go. That should be all the items in the area. Yeah, okay. So where is the exit? It is right up here. Hey, it's the prince. Oh, not so loud. Them. It's the prince and lady Sylee. Not I'm so sorry. loud. Prince, let's run. Hey, wait. What you're running for? My name is Boz Wild. The Lord of the Port Town of Estries. I'm a friend of Lord Barrow. Don't ask me how I get my I hair like this. presumptuous of me, but I'm here to rescue all of you. Lord Wild? Hey, you all made it this far really safe, uh, this far safely, huh? Oh, that's a relief. Uh, you know, if I don't say so myself. Lord Wild? We've been on the run since Sun Palace. I'm afraid we're a little behind on current events. What does that mean I'm here to rescue all of you? Oh, I'm sorry. How inconsiderate of me for not explaining. The Godwins took control of Solfalena, and now they're telling everyone that they got justice on their side. Me and Lord Barrows and plenty of others, though, we can smell what they're shoveling. God, uh, George murdering his Her Majesty the Queen and his, his Majesty Fair, taking His Highness the Prince as a hostage. I sooner believe my Papa... Papa? Pup? Papa? Papa, there we go, was a frizzy snail. Like me! That's what I figured. In any case, my duty would be to help the prince and Lady Siles, who escaped Godwin's evil clutches. 
So I mustered all my manpower I could to get, uh, I could get, and started looking for you. I see. You've probably been through all kinds of life-threatening perils. I mean, Kronos did run around in that forest for a few minutes looking for a goddamn werewolf that's red. But rest assured, we're safe. You're safe for with us now. First things first, we gotta go to Rainwall. Lord Barrows wants to see all of you. All right, thanks. Ah, no, no thanks necessary. And hey, then let's get out of here. Is what I'd like to say, but I gotta tell you, we need a little time to get ready. We came by ship. I can't ask you to board until we do some cleaning up and make her presentable for the ladies. When you guys are ready to leave, just uh, come down to the small port in town. Okay. No, no, we're not walking, but anyways, yeah, we gotta go to the port. This seems too good to be true. Don't worry, we can be sure of at least one thing. That man's no liar. We, we were gonna go to Rainwall anyway, so we might as well let him take us there. In that case, I won't be going with you. What? Why? Officially, I'm just, I am disgraced the Barrow's family name at the Sacred Games. I better not go to Rainwall. If I'm with you, you won't be, you won't be welcome there. We still want you to come with us. That's right, the Sacred Games is was hardly your fault. There are many people who won't see things that way. Besides, I'm not interested in returning to the Bowers family either. The guy? Well, it's up to you. We can't make you come along. Thanks for everything, the guy. As a gladi gladiator, I've always fought alone. But fighting alongside you was good. The guy. So the guy left the party. You... Uh, okay, so you could have technically taken his stuff as well. And he had some SP, which you can move over uh, with this. It does... I think it has to be... Uh, yeah, I think it has to be multiples of 100. And uh, you need... Yeah, you need, it also has a cost, so it's not a one-to-one, -one, right? So if we move George's over, it would be, we would be spending 330, but we would only be moving like 300 over. And we will be taking part of that probably a little bit later, but not right now. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye. My God, this music is awful.